Students, you are welcome to today's lecture on nutritional support for hypertensive and stroke patients. My name is Professor Gilbert Ezengige and this is Kahara Integrative Medicine Academy online classroom. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be updated regularly um, on all our posts. First, let's look at the medical statistics. About 57 million Nigerians are hypertensive. About 160,000 Nigerians suffer stroke yearly. All these are large figures. We'll be looking today at foods that can address the heart, the blood vessels, the brain, the nerves, the muscles, kidneys, liver, and blood cells, because all these tissues and organs are affected whenever a patient is down with hypertension and stroke. Let's start with allium sativum, which is garlic. We know that garlic promotes blood circulation. It is an anticoagulant, meaning it prevents thrombosis, you know, due to blood clots. It assists in the treatment of atherosclerosis. It lowers blood lipid, all the fats in you. It reduces high blood pressure. You can take about two to three cloves three times daily, and that will be good enough. Lycopersicum esculentum is another one, which is tomato, very rich in lycopene. Tomato lowers blood pressure. You can blend four ripe average size tomatoes with a glass of water. You take it in the morning and repeat it at night. Very, very helpful for patients of high blood pressure. Musa sapientum is banana, very rich in potassium. It helps, in the body, uh, helps the body to maintain normal blood pressure. It reduces cholesterol level. It is a very good food for the brain. Uh, we advise that you take a minimum of about three uh, average size banana a day, and that will be good enough. Allium satsepa is onions, you know, um, very rich in quercetin. It's an anticoagulant, a blood thinner. It's good for the treatment of angina pectoris, um, which is basically, you know, the pain you experience in the chest, heart area, because the heart muscles are not getting enough oxygen as they should. And as such, um, sometimes and uh, characteristically, uh, the pain will be radiating to the left arm, up even down to the fingertips. It lowers cholesterol in the blood, it supports the heart function. It lowers blood pressure too. So you take a medium size of onions and you take it daily. You slice it on all the foods you are eating and then it could be rice, could be various soups or your yam and then you take them. Phoenix dactylifera is dead palm. Dead palm controls cholesterol level in the body. I tell you, if you are not diabetic, you need to take a lot of dead palm daily. A handful will help. Citrus sinensis orange assists the treatment of atherosclerosis. It lowers blood cholesterol. It helps the heart to function very, very well. It also boosts the immune system. We recommend that you drink freshly expressed ripe orange juice regularly. Citrus paradisi is grapefruit. An intake of grapefruit juice helps to burn fats. It's used in the treatment of atherosclerosis. It controls cholesterol production in the liver. It's grapefruit uh, juice taken at night ha um, helps to promote sound sleep. Citrus lemon is lemon, very rich in vitamin Bs, you know, and it makes our blood vessels to be soft and flexible and that is elastic, it prevents heart failure. Juice of a lemon a day in an empty stomach is actually a good practice, very good for general health. Simbopocon citratus is lemongrass. It's a cardiovascular tonic, it, you know, it's, it has an antioxidant property, it has a salutary effect, a very wonderful healing effect on the nervous system. So we recommend and advise that patients uh, who are hypertensive or who are stroke patients should drink lemongrass tea liberally, you know, um, it will help them. Zinjiba officinal is ginger. It promotes blood circulation, it supports cardiovascular health. It's a wonderful hypertensive, meaning it can lower your blood pressure. It's an immune system enhancer, it relieves headache. 
all the herbs that we are mentioning and the fruits we are mentioning are not supposed to be taken all together at the same time. You know, your naturopath, your licensed medical herbalist, your doctor can guide you. Nutritionally minded practitioners can guide you. Cocos nucifera is coconut. It's an immune booster, very good in uh, supporting the heart, meaning it has cardioprotective uh, property, is hypertensive, is an antioxidant, it cools the body, it protects the kidneys too. Contrary to generally held views that coconut water is not good, you know, the coconut water and milk are actually very, very good for the heart and brain. Abel Moscus esculentus is okra. It tones the heart, is lowers cholesterol level. Uh, okra soup uh, should be taken regularly, you know, uh, by patients who are hypertensive. Anacadium occidental is cashew. Both the nuts and the fruits are very, very useful. Antioxidant, the fruit, I mean, the nut has antioxidant property. The nut lowers low density lipoprotein, which is the bad cholesterol, and increases the high density lipoprotein, which is the good cholesterol. So we say that high blood pressure patients should consume cashew nuts regularly. Persia americana is avocado pear. It helps to regulate blood pressure, it supports the heart function, it lowers the bad cholesterol, again, the low density lipoprotein, and increases the good cholesterol, the high density lipoprotein level in the blood. It tones muscles and nerves. Epium graviolens, celery, useful in the treatment of high blood pressure. Celery juice has a sedative property. It has antispasmodic property. It has protective properties of the brain and the nervous system. It controls cholesterol level. So you can take a stalk of it, you juice it you know, in a glass of water and you take daily Epium graviolens. Petrocellinum crispum is parsley. It has a very great effect in stimulating the brain. It lowers uh, high blood pressure. It is useful in the treatment of atherosclerosis. A glass of parsley juice daily will support the recovery of hypertension and stroke patients. But we have to warn that parsley is an emenagogue. So, you use it cautiously. An emenagogue is um, an action of a herb that can increase menstrual flow. So you don't give, administer it uh, to pregnant women, for instance. Tiger nuts is Cyperus esculentus. It, it, it tones the whole body. It is very useful also for um, atherosclerosis. It prevents heart attack and thrombosis. It reduces low density cholesterol and increases the good one. There are some vegetable juices that can be mixed together and they end up supporting patients suffering from cardiovascular, nervous and urinary system. Carrot juice, parsley juice, celery juice can all be mixed together and taken daily. Another vegetable juice that help them is lettuce and tomatoes. You can blend both and um, you can be sure it will help to reduce nervous tension. It can relax the nerves and also make them to sleep well. It induces uh, recuperative uh, sleep. It's not all about food, food. There are also some supplements that can be of help. Some key food supplements are administered for the prevention, management, and treatment of uh, hypertension and stroke. Let's start with vitamin E, tocopherol. Vitamin E is an antitrobin agent. It maintains the cardiovascular health. Um, it increases oxygen available to the heart and other muscles. It lowers the risk of angina pectoris, the risk of stroke, the risk of ischemic heart disease. It helps nutrients to permeate tiny capillaries and also has the ability to lower cholesterol level. You can derive vitamin E from foods like wheat gem oil, soybean oil, penicillin oil, peanut oil, and other vegetable oils. Avocados, you know, whole uh, seeds and nuts are also very rich in vitamin E. High blood pressure patients should gradually increase uh, the intake of uh, this vitamin E. They could start from 100 IU, um, international unit of vitamin E, and um, 
uh, move it up to and not possibly exceeding 800 international units of vitamin E daily. Vitamin C ascorbic acid is also very useful. Very useful for hardening of arteries, condition, prevents clots in veins and arteries, prevents heart attack and stroke. Very useful for high blood pressure patients and high cholesterol management. You can derive vitamin C from fruits like guava, African star apple, which we know as odara or abalomo, citrus fruits such as orange, grape, lime, lemon, tangerine, and bitter orange. You can give up to 3,000 mg of vitamin C per day. Like I said all before, I will repeat it. Depending on the health status of the patient, depending on his history, that is what will inform your naturopath to prescribe the best of these supplements and foods to um, the patient suffering from hypertension and stroke. You don't have to give all, and you can never even give all. Bioflavonoids are also very, very important. They prevent deficiency of vitamin C in the body. It strengthens capillary fragility. So it makes your uh, capillary result to be fragile so that when it is under pressure, instead of just rupturing and pro possibly leading to stroke, especially if the rupture takes place in the brain, it could just be a little more elastic. So, and that is the essence of uh, taking uh, foods rich in bioflavonoids. And we get them bioflavonoids so much from the, that part of your orange or your grape that you throw away. You take the juice and you throw away those white things. You know? That's where the bioflavonoids are really loaded. It prevents bleeding. is a good addition to the treatment of high blood pressure um, patients. Major sources of uh, bioflavonoids are uh, orange rind and the rind of other citrus fruits, which I've mentioned before, um, such as grape, lime, lemon, tangerine, and bitter orange. Other sources are apples, onions, cabbage, and green pepper. You can give up to 1,000 mg daily of bioflavonoids. Coenzyme Q10, also known and called ubiquinone, is a very powerful antioxidant similar to and in a class of vitamin E. It supports tissue oxidation, it improves blood circulation, it lowers cholesterol level in the blood, it's useful in the treatment and um, prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disorders. Major sources of uh, coenzyme Q10 include uh, your uh, natural fish like mackerel, sardines, salmon, and also peanut, spinach, beef, and uh, liver. You can give up to 50 to 200 milligram daily of coenzyme Q10. Selenium is an important mineral that uh, sufferers of hypertension and stroke also require. This mineral is closely related again to vitamin E. It prevents hardening of arteries. It is needed for healthy tissue elasticity. Major sources of selenium include your liver, your wheat gem, tomatoes, whole grain cereals, seafood, kidneys, uh, onions, garlic, brown rice, mushroom. You can give up to 200 to 500 micrograms per day. Calcium is yet another mineral that calms the nerves. It maintains good cardiovascular function. It improves nerve impulse transmission. Good sauces, bone meal, shrimps, lobsters, you know, cheese, sardine, carrot, almond, banana, coconut, dates, grapefruit, pineapple, uh, nettle, your sorrel, which is the zobo, kale, peanut, and spinach. In some situations, you can admit up to 2,000 mg of calcium per day. Magnesium also go hand in hand with calcium. It's a remedy for irritability. It assists angina and coronary thrombosis and prevents heart attack. It's a good remedy for treatment and management of neuromuscular disorders. It prevents high cholesterol in the blood, it lowers hardening of arteries, is an anti-stress remedy. You can give, uh, you can get it from almond nuts, from cashew nuts, from walnuts, green products. Um, dark green vegetables, soy products, banana, cucumber, lettuce, okra, apple, lemon, dandelion, and parsley. Up to 700 milligrams per day can be administered in divided doses. 
Fish oil omega-3 fatty acid supports the cardiovascular health. It lowers blood pressure, it lowers um, triglyceride level, it prevents heart diseases and stroke. It improves mental health, it improves nervous system. And major sources of omega-3 fatty acid include fish oil, you know, um, salmon, sardine, cod, liver oil. In some cases, you can give up to 4 grams of omega-3 uh, fatty acid fish oil. There is a wise saying that prevention is always better than cure, and how do we do it in uh, naturopathy? When we have patients, both for the prevention and for the treatment of hypertension and stroke, we concentrate on the organs that we know are generally affected. Such organs like your brain and nerves, your heart, your kidneys, your liver, and so on and so forth. So, starting from the brain and nerves, we can give and uh, recommend electric fish. <laughs> Many of us do not even know what electric fish is all about. Most have not even tested it, but it's very good. It's something that helps the brain to be very, very alert and healthy and the nerves to function properly. Honey, walnuts are also very good. Green vegetable juices, granite, uh, coconut, cashew nut, banana, avocado pear, as well as taking ginger tea. All these are very, very helpful. That's for the brain and the nerves. For the heart, we'll be looking at foods like garlic, ginger, onions to help the heart. We'll be looking at foods um, like garden egg, grapefruit, um, honey, avocado pear. We'll be looking at you know, nuts like tiger nuts, we'll be looking at vegetables like celery, we'll be looking at oils like virgin coconut oil, looking at fruits like banana and uh, pepper fruit. Pepper fruit is known botanically as Denesia trepetella. Igbos call it meme. The kidneys need to be supported. Most patients that suffer from hypertension do not even know that uh, sometimes the kidneys are also involved in some cases. No, you can help the kidneys by taking a lot of avocados, celery, parsley, lime, coconut water, watermelon with seed. You take cashew fruit and sugar cane. Again, remember I said your natural parts will help you plan these meals. Thank you very much uh, for listening. And uh, we say keep reading, keep improving yourself, keep making research. Uh, we encourage that among our students in Kahara Integrative Medicine Academy.